I just saw this um, meme on LinkedIn that says, and I thought that um, one life says out of your comfort. People have to realize that there's no such thing as a comfort zone, all right? The term comfort zone is already resulting in a limiting belief. Right? It is actually one describing a limiting belief. All right? So, the term step out of your comfort zone, well, I don't actually believe in that. Taking massive action doesn't need to have a, um, let's call this, uh, doesn't need a concept like the comfort zone. All right. I'll explain. Because, well, like I said, probably countless times in this in, in these diaries that massive action only takes one decision, and that supposed comfort zone gets taken down once you affirm that decision. All right. Because, primarily, it does not exist. Alright? You're the only one assuming that it exists. Anito lang yan eh. Anito lang yan. So, LinkedIn, the next time you think of a comfort zone, guess what? Comfort zones don't exist. They don't actually exist. Alright? So here's my power tip for you. Comfort zones don't exist unless you make it so. I just saw this meme from... No, like not exactly a meme. A, a straight up photo from LinkedIn. <clears throat> and I thought, <clears throat> I even commented that, why didn't anybody think of this before? Right? <clears throat> Here is a very subtle way uh, of telling who's normal and who's PWD. PWDs aren't the only one that should be assisted. Okay? There are also seniors. There are also, there are also pregnant women. There are also children under the age of children seven years, children uh, practically um, ten and under, who, who basically can't shop for themselves. All right, this is a good way of sort of generalizing them for for assistance by store staff. Why in the hell didn't, didn't anybody think of this before? Right? It's a wonderful it's a wonderful take on how to assist pe people in need, basically. You know, red baskets tell staff that this customer needs assistance. The black ones tell that tell cost tell staff that this customer doesn't need assistance unless probably Unless that customer tells them tells them to. What am I getting at your Instagram? Innovation, okay. Innovation starts sometimes by by being empathic, right? This um, innovative way of well assisting of adding value to customers. This is adding value to customers, mind you. Resulted in innovation. This empathy for customers who have um, who have very specific needs led to this kind of innovation. Alright? So, here's a power tip for you, Instagram. If you care about something, all you have to do is innovate. 
That's all you have to do. I'm going to talk about what I, uh, what I saw on, what, what I actually commented on a post on LinkedIn that, well, basically this guy is um, telling, telling everybody on LinkedIn, basically, that um, he's consistently uh, revising his resume or CV, curriculum vitae, well, let's call it resume here for... For, for everybody here on TikTok's sake, all right? He's updating his resume. He is um, refurbishing it, something to that effect. And, well, good old me commented like this. I didn't um, tell him what to do or, 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 even, um, or, even see, or even say negative things about his post. Nope. I just asked him a question. You know what he responded with? A like. <laughs> Is that all you can do? React with a like? Come on, I just... I just gave you an eye-opening question. And you replied with just this? You know what, TikTok? The bottom line here is this. Don't bank on just one thing if you want to if you want to experience any kind of success in life. Right? Red to tell you frankly, resumes do not cut it anymore. If you don't have social media presence, no company is going to hire you. Alright? No company is going to hire you, or if you see, uh, or if they see that your um, your social account is boring as hell, or if they see your social accounts as whoa co too controversial for anybody, they aren't gonna take you in. Okay, resumes or CVs or anything, any or anything uh, or or the like right does not guarantee success no matter how many times you edit it no matter how many times you revise it all right if it's the only thing you rely on you ain't getting that job in this day of age your social media is more important to companies than your resume all right because well if they see if they see you got a uh, you got a positive outlook on life through your social media, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if your if your resume sucks. If they see that kind of attitude, they will probably they'll you got a 50-50 chance of getting hired. Social media is a more powerful resume than the resume itself. Let me put it simply put. Social media accounts have more weight than resumes.